<clears throat> okay, we're good to go. All right, uh, the members that are attending are Rich Sidnick, Andrea, myself, and Joe, who is with you at this point. Joe, you wanna say hello so they know you're here? <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is the only item on the agenda. So why don't you go ahead, Peter? And I have a couple of questions. Sure. So um, the applicant is um, Berlin Turnpike 1773 LLC. Um, this is the former uh, pet supply plus uh, pet shop up on the Berlin Turnpike. Um, it's been vacant now for I think four years since Pet Supplies moved uh, next to Marshalls. Um, uh, the uh, property owner, as I mentioned, is an LLC, but uh, Joe Sulo is the uh, principal of the LLC. Uh, and, and as uh, you may be aware, uh, he has uh, got some pro other properties in town and is looking to uh, renovate and improve uh, this property. Uh, the tenant would be a company called Tough Shed. They uh, uh, prefabricate uh, kits that you can put together uh, at home for garden sheds, storage buildings, that kind of thing. So uh, half of the building will basically be a showroom. Uh, the other half will be the storage, you know, warehouse where people can purchase um, the kit and take it out the back, uh, back door, bring it back to their home, or it could be delivered uh, to build your, um, your accessory uh, structure. Um, so he is proposed, and I, I, you should have received in your packet, uh, once again, I couldn't confirm with Denise what exactly you guys did receive in the packet because she was really going to run this meeting, but uh, if you're familiar with the building, uh, it's basically a box. It has more extensive windows than this particular plan proposes, so they'll be eliminating some of the windows um, on a good portion of the building and replacing all of them. Um, they are uh, providing a little bit of green space on the property. If you looked at the site plan, they are adding a couple of areas for landscaping. Um, uh, not as much probably as we would like. He's trying to maintain um, the number of parking spaces that might be required to satisfy full retail use of the property. So he, he got rid of some of the asphalt uh, but he wanted to maximize how much parking he could in case this particular tenant doesn't last as long as he would like. So he has the ability to um, continue a retail use uh, into the future. Um, I, I also asked him a whole bunch of questions. I don't know if you received a copy of, of the answers to those questions. There was about 15 questions I asked him. So um, if, if you do have questions, they might be answered in his... Um, uh, response. So he's doing the paving, uh, the site work that I mentioned. Uh, he's doing a sidewalk adjacent to the building. He's doing some landscaping. Uh, he's adding some masonry uh, block to the exterior. Um, there's a stucco finish on a portion of the exterior. Um, he's changing out all of the storefront uh, glass and changing out the doors and hardware. Uh, there is some signage uh, proposed, I would suggest that uh, the signage detail be held over for a future review. He has not provided us with all of the detail that we would normally expect. So if there is a motion to approve it, please uh, put that aside. Uh, and then he's also doing some exterior uh, lighting wall packs on the building. No lighting in the parking lot. Um, so that in, a, in a, a summary is what he's proposing to do to the, uh, the, build, the building. Okay, I have, I have a couple of questions to ask. And uh, I think the signage area was certainly one of them. Uh, the, the sign looked pretty because it's two-sided sign. Uh, I'm not sure if the area meets our requirements or not. Um, I'm assuming he's going to erect a couple of sheds uh, and probably try to locate them on the site, not just in the sales room. And if that's the case, uh, that may cut down on the parking. 
I'm, you know, I, I think we probably need some clarification <coughs> of what his intent is. So Bruce, and just let me let me answer those as you go through the signage. As I said, should be held over for another review. The he is proposing, I think, three uh, uh, exterior uh, sheds to display so people can see it outside as well as inside. Um, th that will have to go to planning and zoning anyway. So planning and zoning will deal with that. Uh, he's putting it on the plan to show that he intends to do that, but he's going to leave it to Tough Shed. If they want to pursue that, they'll have to seek permission um, from planning and zoning. So that would be excluded from, from your um, your approval as well until PNZ approves it. And the elevations uh, actually weren't weren't bad. I, I enjoyed the accentuation of the horizontal joint. Uh, is that the intent of the construction? Is to uh, accentuate on the as the elevation show the horizontal banding. Uh, of that building, if it is, uh, I, I think that's relatively attractive for a uh, CMU finish. And I'd like to know what the finish material uh, of the CMU would be. Is it a painted finish or, you know, you said he's going to use stucco. Maybe that's what the exterior finish is. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Those you are my a, You have a preference? I, if, if it's a ground face block or something like that, that's fairly attractive, uh, that, that would work. Um, but I think he needs to provide that information to us. Okay. I agree. That, that was my only concern was, um, you know, it's, it's detailed different or it's, it's portrayed differently in the elevations but it just says CMU and with the information you provided, um, it would just help you. My initial reaction is no <laughs> with the CMU, but um, understanding more about what that looks like um, would be beneficial and probably is, is okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with, uh, with Andrea and uh, Bruce. I like the horizontal accents to it. As a matter of fact, when I first looked at it, I thought they were doing some sort of a um, you know, a, a horizontal metal siding, um, you know, um, which is a nice look. Um, but I like the contrast between the, the dark walls and then, and the light, um, the light signboard. So that, that's, you know, that's something that, uh, that, that they have going for them. Okay. Otherwise, I'll <clears throat> Speak for myself, I don't have any problem with the proposal. Okay. Peter, the um, just looking at the plan, they they have uh, they have a rear door they're going to be cutting in. Uh, are they going to use that for uh, for for uh, customer access, or is that just for convenience? That's for um, delivery and. Um, um, you know, staff access to take this stuff into it, whether it's the, the, the customers might pull around the back to have the uh, prefab kits loaded into their trucks, uh, yeah. perhaps, yeah. but they, he did indicate to me they are providing a delivery service, so it should be minimal, but they needed the, the wider uh, opening in order to accommodate the deliveries of, of the kits. The kits are, have some size to them. So, they do. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at the site plan also. Um, I haven't been to that location in years. I think back when it was like a shoe store. Um, that, but, that's, a long, that's a long time ago. Yeah, that was a really long time ago. I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, but do they have parking? I mean, is, is this the way the, the lot is configured? Yeah. So um, pretty much what you see on the site plan is the extent of the existing asphalt. Um, so it's, it's, um, in horrific shape, um, mm, or was in horrific that. shape. So, uh, he's redoing the entire parking lot. Uh, and as I said earlier, he was trying to end up with a, a ratio that would allow him to potentially use this for a future tenant, full retail. The, he doesn't need all of it, 
obviously for this particular tenant, but he didn't want to rip it all up and then have to rebuild it somewhere down the road if a new tenant came in. So, um, so he's going to put it back as in, um, he's putting it back in the same configuration that it is in currently. Pretty much. Okay. All there's right. No, there's no structured drainage. So it's all going to be sheet flow. Um, yeah. So it's going to be a long run. There are some wetlands in the back. So uh, town engineer and I may impose upon him some sort of a French drain or some sort of a, you know, just to, just to deal a little bit with the, um, with the sheet flow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what you see is what you get with the, with the way it's going to end up, except for the, you know, the, the, the green space that he's proposing. Yeah. Well, I'm going to speak for myself and say that I, I actually, this is going to be a vast improvement over what's been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even, even when it was occupied, uh, mm -hmm. this is going to, it's going to be, you know, uh, um, so much better. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. Joe, I, Joe, I think has a comment about the, the site, site and the paving. He's going to rip it all up, redo it. Yep. So you guys should also know that he has applied to um, the EDIC for some of the design, the facade improvement funding. So um, they are likely to support support that so this will be the first one I think we've done on the Berlin Turnpike in all the years we've had the program so at least we now finally have that contribution up there hmm. okay obviously we don't have any public comment at this point so <laughs> I guess uh, Andrew, do you have any issues that uh, did not approve this? No, and I, I agree with Rich. It's it's an improvement over over what's there, um, and I do like the forethought to, uh, you know, potential alternate client uh, or uh, um, tenants down the road. Um, you know, so so the modifications to the building are uh, reusable and repurposable as well as the site. Um, limitations. Good. Uh, then at this point I'll make a recommendation that uh, we approve the application uh, with some answers to the comments that we've made and a resubmission on the signage. Do I have a second on that? I'll second that. Okay. okay. All in favor say aye. 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 We got it, Peter. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are likely to continue to uh, stay with virtual meetings for the foreseeable future. So um, um, we're going to try and we're going to try and set Joe up somehow so he can join us uh, in the comforts of his own uh, of his own home, so that he doesn't. Oh, okay. You, you like coming here, so. <laughs> Tell Joe that his grandson can help him with that. <laughs> Your grandson can help you with that. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. Uh, we do have a couple of projects uh, potentially coming up. So we'll um, you'll probably be a little bit busier um, over the next uh, few months. So um, we'll keep you uh, posted. But as I said earlier, if you have uh, any uh, qualified friends, uh, associates who live in town who might want to uh, join this group, uh, you know, have them uh, reach out to me and I can uh, connect them up with the right, right party and maybe uh, uh, get some new membership here. So. And just review again, is it, is it a certain discipline in particular or is it? I think it, any of the I design, yeah, I mean, any of the design, you know, could be an engineer, could be an architect. That's, that's what I'm wondering, if it was an engineer or? Yeah. A landscape architect would be good if you know any landscape architects. Those are kind of few and far between, but, um, hmm. you know, uh, a planner maybe, you know, you yeah. never know. So yeah. uh, any, anybody like that. So uh, um, if you get any thoughts, just let me know. Okay. Well, Jay's kids are probably finishing high school. Maybe he's got time again. <laughs> maybe. Right. <laughs> That's true. 
So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good to Thank see you everybody. All. Yeah. Same here. Okay. All right, guys. Be well. Bye. Bye. You just um.